<laughs> what is up guys Capgun here one and a gamer bring you guys some more black ops 2 gameplay and if you haven't seen my last gameplay go check it out I actually covered picture in picture on how I use a controller uh, because I only game with one hand if you guys didn't know and I've been doing it you know since I've been playing video games I started playing video games I think when I was five or something on Nintendo and uh, I played on the arcade when I was tall enough but um in that gameplay, I actually explained something, how I've been using a new technique with the Xbox controller so I can actually give myself a better advantage when I'm trying to face my enemies so I can actually ADS move and shoot all at the same time. And I actually do it later in this gameplay. I'm going to try to point it out for you guys, but, you know, it helped, you know, I got an extra kill, so... Um, in this gameplay, unfortunately, I didn't get my swarm. I was going for my swarm, and I actually had a gameplay where I did get a swarm on Xbox. And, of course, theater mode didn't record it. It only recorded three minutes of the gameplay. So um, I'm going to work on getting another swarm. And the patch came out yesterday, um, which actually made a huge impact on the game. Um, I think it was yesterday. And it really changed a lot of things in the game. Overall, it changed the gun mechanics. Um, this gun really didn't change too much. The only thing it changed was the idle sway. All the assault rifles had that changed. And then there was, I think, a select few of assault rifles that actually, uh, some got a buff and then some got nerfs. And then all the SMGs got, I guess, a slight nerf on the silencer end, but nothing dramatic that you're really going to notice. So... Um, I'm really not going to explain in detail about the patch. You can look it up if you want more details about it. But there was a lot of things actually that they already patched on PlayStation 3 that they didn't do on Xbox. So they finally took care of all the stuff that actually PS3 um, was already, you know, performing um, up to standards, I guess you would say. It's not 100% and never will be, but... Um, you know, they're making the right steps to improve this game and make it run a little bit better, which is a good thing. Hopefully they can work out theater mode because I use theater mode a lot and everybody else does that uploads, you know, to YouTube. So it's very important. And from now on, I'm just going to record and uh, just, you know, deal with that. You know, just go back to the way it used to be when there was no theater mode back when, uh, you know, we had Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I just, you know, used my uh, laptop and did every recording. Now, I used to do that, but I got, you know, lazy and I would just use theater mode. But I wanted to give you guys a tip in this gameplay. Um, this gameplay wasn't really rush heavy, as you could tell. But I did approach my shot very tactically. And uh, I approached it and uh, I got some kill streaks. I actually got two VSATs this game. And then I got a load star at the end where I probably would have got a swarm, but... Um, in this gameplay, I want to mention something, and that is how to improve your game just slightly. And this might not seem something that would increase your game dramatically, but I would recommend actually watching your gameplay. If you don't even post YouTube gameplay, if you don't post on YouTube, um, I would recommend watching your gameplay. Go back and watch your gameplay in theater mode. And the reason for that is so you can see what you're missing in the game. And what I miss, and I, I, I actually miss uh, my right side, my right view, I can actually miss people. And I see it in my gameplay after I, you know, watch it and review it. I'm like, I cannot believe I missed that guy right there. And that's what I'm talking about. You can actually make steps on improving your gameplay. So what I do now is actually make sure that I watch and double check my right side before I continually move. And right here is where I use that technique. I was moving, aiming, and shooting all at the same time, which was awesome. Unfortunately, the scoreboard kind of like cut in there, but um, you guys got the idea. And right here, uh, I picked up my load star, and I could have probably got a few more kills really quickly and probably got my... Uh, swarm, but I decided to drop out my load star really quickly and uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay, but try that tip You know if you've never actually watched your gameplay go back and watch it critique it and write down things that you notice that are problematic and then go back 
and you know keep on doing that you know maybe do it once every two days or something like that maybe once a week and see if that works for you thank you for watching guys always leave it a ring deserves cap get out